hello <laughs> welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is chelsea and i am a full-time reseller i sell poshmark ebay mercari and whatnot and today i am here with a goodwill outlet haul okay so if you haven't noticed this is a ton of stuff <laughs> and i don't normally source this much at the goodwill outlet so let me tell you how i came to acquire all of this stuff well i went to the goodwill outlet every single day last week so five days monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday i went every single day and i've kind of sorted this haul by category and i'm going to split the hauls into five separate days now the reason i decided to do this there's a few reasons the first reason is last week in the state of florida was tax-free week so everything was no tax. So all of this clothing, I just paid $1.89 per pound at my Goodwill outlet, and I didn't have to pay any tax on it, which normally I do pay tax on clothing. I know I could get some kind of reseller license or I wouldn't have to pay that, but I haven't done that. So I still pay tax on things. So all of this was tax free, which was very exciting for me. So I figured, hey, this is a, as good a time of ever to <laughs> develop a death pile because I'm not paying tax on it. So that was one reason. And another reason is I recently started selling on Whatnot and I want to try doing a whole week of whatnot shows. So I'm gonna be doing a show every day, Monday through Friday. Now, if whatnot is not your thing and you don't enjoy resellers talking about whatnot, I'm sorry. I will still do a haul like I normally do showing you like what it would resell for on like Poshmark or eBay, but I am going to be giving first dibs on all of these items over on whatnot for very good prices. I'm talking like goodwill prices. Um, so you're going to want to pop in if you're able to. So I will have all my shows linked down below and you can go to those shows and you can even place pre-bids on items if you're unable to make it to the show at that time and look in my store and see all the things that I have. I'm going to try to post the items to my store like the day before because it's a lot of work, honestly, to upload into whatnot. Um, maybe not as much work as Poshmark or eBay, but you do have to photograph things, you have to make titles, and you can't do it on your computer, which is so frustrating to me because I can type so fast on my computer, but no, I have to do it all on my phone and I'm just not good at that. But anyway, um, all this stuff will be available on Whatnot and I'm gonna show it to you by order of like what show I'm doing. So today I'm gonna show you all of my vintage finds from the week and this is honestly probably the show I am the most excited about because y'all know I love vintage and I got some amazing vintage this week. So I got a whole Ikea bag full of vintage that's gonna be my whatnot show and then I have a garbage bag full of vintage that my sister-in-law gave me that I'm also gonna include in the show because it's very good vintage. And you might be wondering, well, what are you gonna do with all the stuff that doesn't sell Chelsea? You have a ton of stuff here. I'm just gonna resell it myself. Everything I bought is things that I would actually resell in my reselling business normally. I didn't buy things that I wouldn't resell. So that's my strategy here. But if y'all wanna, you know, have a have a crack at my stuff before I list it anywhere else, you can come on over to Whatnot and bid on it. Absolutely no pressure though. If you don't like Whatnot, that's fine. But I just wanna give you the opportunity. It's, I feel like the easiest way for me to sell to my subscribers at a low cost. Whereas when it's on Poshmark, I've already put in all that work of photographing and measuring and getting every single detail and making the perfect listing. Then at that point, I want a little more for it. So if you wanna get good deals and any of this stuff, watch my videos for the next few days. I'm gonna be posting the video of the haul like the day before the Whatnot show comes out. So yeah, stay tuned if you're interested. And without further ado, let's jump into this haul. Okay, so first thing here, we have a vintage t-shirt. So this is Anvil and it's 100% pre-shook cotton um, fabric made in the US. So honestly, it's made in Honduras though. This kind of gives me like early 2000s vibes. I didn't see a date on it, but it's a like, it's a Daytona bike fest tee bike Oktoberfest in Daytona Beach and I couldn't find a date. Oh, there it is. It's 1999. Cool. So, and, and there's a little tombstone there. So kind of spooky Halloween vibes on that. I would probably list this on Poshmark for around $25, $30 and that's without looking up comps. I didn't look into that particular tank yet. Okay. These are such cool pants. These are a size 10. They're, I don't, I've never heard of this brand. I definitely picked these up based on style. They have like a really good stretch to them. They're cotton spandex blend but look at this lace down the side of the leg isn't that so fun 
So they're kind of like a mom jean shape with a tapered leg. And then look at this cute little like yoke detailing in the back. I guess it's called a yoke when it's in the front, but what do you call it when it's in the back? Does anyone know? But these have, these are like light wash with like an acid wash look to them. I'd probably list these for like $35, $40 online. Um, I just think they're really great pants. And for vintage, they're in super good condition. Okay, this is a little baby shirt. Isn't this so cute? One of my bins buddies gave this to me. It says Breezy Point on it. I have no idea where that is, but like, isn't that just so cute? I feel like this would fit like, it says a 3-4. I was going to say a 3-T, so that was pretty, pretty close. Um, it's made in the USA. I don't really even know what that tag says, but this is definitely, definitely vintage. But just a cute little sweater. I'd probably list that for like 15 bucks on Poshmark. Okay, this shirt I might keep if it fits me, but I have this thing where I don't really like high neck collars, um, but this one might be okay. Anyway, I just thought this was super cool. It's just like a Florida, I feel like marina top. It says breakaway to the bay, Hera's marina, just like a boating shirt. And it does have some really cool cracking to it and wear, and it is single stitch on the hem and on the sleeves. And the tag, is TJ's. <laughs> See what they did there? And it's a size large made in the USA. But I would definitely say that this runs smaller than a large. Probably fits more like a true medium in today's standards, but a small could definitely wear it oversized. I think that's so cute. Sorry if the lighting's changing in here too, guys. I have my window shades open and sometimes as the lighting changes, it changes in here. So I'm really sorry about that. Okay, I've got a handkerchief. I don't know if I'll sell that on whatnot. Maybe I'll put it as a buy it now, one, one ounce item. But um, if I were to sell that on Poshmark, um, I would probably list that for like five bucks in my four for 25 sale because it's a good bundling piece. I have this pillowcase and I have sold several vintage pillowcases and I just thought this embroidery was so pretty and it did have a tag. I'd list this for like $10 and take offers. It's really easy to photograph. It is from Utica. I've never heard of that. And it's a standard pillowcase size, but it's definitely vintage. And this is like factory stitched embroidery. And then this little piece I'd probably list for like 10 bucks too and take offers. These are just really great bundling pieces on Poshmark. And that's normally how I sell them. But I will run all of that on whatnot if you're interested in any of it. Um, this is so cute. It's like a little Scotty dog tea towel. And it definitely has some war, some wear and some age, some fading, but it's just like the cutest thing. Oh, it's a schnauzer. That's what it says. Schnauzer, not a Scotty dog. But um, yeah, it has some discoloring and staining, but this would be really cute to like hang in your kitchen um, and display it if you are a, an owner of a cute little schnauzer. Okay, this is like a, one of those swishy nylon jackets. It's just Cabin Creek size small, but I picked it up because look at those colors. Isn't that so fun? And then the back, it has like that V shape. This would be a great like fall jacket. Um, if you live in Florida, this would make a great winter jacket. It's kind of thinner, but I'd probably list it around $32 and see what happens. Um, isn't this just precious? Another bins buddy gave me this. It's just like this cute little cherry top. It is missing one of the little cherries that dangle from the bow but it has like a little button back and um, elastic bottoms. I feel like this color scheme was really popular when I was a kid and I have pictures of me as a baby in like very similar colors. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. I probably set for like 10 or $15. Okay, this skirt I picked up because it's gingham and I just love gingham and it's this style that has button front and it's a functional button front and pockets and an elastic back. And that's definitely like a style I would like. So I figured someone else out there has got to like it. But um, the brand on it is just Coldwater Creek. It's a linen cotton blend. And this isn't probably super vintage. This is probably from like early to mid 2000s because there's the tag. It's not like super vintage, but it has a vintage vibe to it. So I figured I would run it in this whatnot show. Um, on Poshmark, I'd probably list this around $30. And obviously had it, I'd have it steamed and looking much more pretty <laughs> when I run it or when I sell it. Um, golden retriever, right? Is that a golden retriever? Or is that a lab? I think it's a lab. Um, anyway, cute little dog and it says scene weaver and scene weaver classic creations. And I really just picked this up because of the dog. I feel like dog people, if you own a dog that looks like this, how fun would it be to wear that background? And it's like a tapestry bag. Um, I would say like art to wear tapestry bag, stuff like that. 
does have like a loose thread here, but I'll just trim that up and it should be just fine. Probably list that for around $15, $20. Um, on whatnot, I'm going to be running these stuff, like I said, for like Goodwill prices, but that is what I would price it if I was selling it online. So, and I might be, I don't know. I don't know how these whatnot shows are going to turn out. I might sell two things and that's okay. Um, this dress is really pretty. It's hundred percent rayon and it is by JM studio. It's got a nice zip back. It's sleeveless. And I just like the feel of this fabric and it's a very classic, just straight maxi dress. Um, it'd probably start there on 25, $30. Okay. This is probably one of my favorite dresses I found this week. It is this really pretty floral print. It's metropolitan New York. This looks like it's probably from the early 2000s, but I could be wrong. And it's this really pretty floral print. And look, it's like a pinafore style. It's open here. And then it has these buttons that go into a pocket. And this would be so cute, like layered with um, a, like a t-shirt underneath it. I just think this is precious. This is probably, like I said, one of my favorites. And it's rayon, so it's super soft and i love the print so that one i'd probably start around 40 on poshmark okay now this top i've actually had for a while and i just figured i would see if anyone wanted it on whatnot and if not i need to fix it myself because a friend of mine sold this same shirt and she sold it for like 45 or 50 dollars but hers was in perfect condition mine is not so this is a shirt by the florida turnpike and if you look at all of the prints on it it's just so fun and retro like this would be a fun upcycling project Here's the problem with mine. Um, I feel like when these were donated, I found, I think I found like 20 of these shirts in the bins. I only bought one <laughs> because this, it, you see how it's ripped in the back? It's like they donated them, but they didn't want anyone to use them. So the fabric is just like raw. It's been like just ripped um, from the hem up to the other hem right here. So I don't know if someone would want to repair that and use it, but I just, I can't get rid of it. The print is so good and it needs repair. So I don't know if anyone wants to put love into that, but if I were to list it online in that condition, I'd probably list it for like maybe $10 and just like make it a craft project thing. I don't know. It's really sad that it's destroyed. Okay. This top is really funny to me. Um, it definitely has stains and it's definitely worn, but it is a vintage tee. It says genuine antique person. Been there, done that. <laughs> Can't remember. Isn't that funny? So there's the shirt and then down at the bottom it says laid back 1993 and then it has um, a single stitch hem and then it's like the beefy tee tag and it says size medium 100% cotton so yeah that's vintage from the 90s and then the back says something about being a genuine antique person too but I just thought that was so funny and it definitely has some fading and some discoloring but I just think this would be this would be fun to like give to your grandma or your dad or something on his birthday I'd probably list that for around 15 or 20 online um this I need to look up but it's just an Oscar de la Renta made in Italy scarf and it's like this metallic -y fabric I would assume you could list this for like 20 25 dollars it's a really pretty scarf super lightweight so it's cheap at the bins and I'd probably list this, like I said, around $25. There's no fabric content though, which is kind of annoying, but it's just such a pretty scarf. I mean, it's like so metallic and fun. Okay, this is precious. There is one little discoloration on it, but I decided to get it anyway. It's cachet. And I was in a whatnot show the other day by the thrifty grandma, and they were talking about how cachet can be spelled differently. And this cachet has a T on it, and then there's an older version of cachet where it's spelled without the T, I think. So I don't really know how to date this, but it, it looks, it looks old. Um, it's got the paper tag. It's from Sears, which I didn't know Sears sold cachet. I don't know if this is like a different cachet. Anyway, it's really pretty. And it has like the little bell sleeves, the lace detailing it. There's a tie in the front. It's sheer. It's just like a little bed coat and it's super duper precious. I probably list this around $40 online, but the one thing that I would try to repair or just to disclose is that on the tie here, there is like a little discoloration. I don't even know if you can see it just right there, <laughs> which is unfortunate, but like I couldn't find any other flaws in the actual, okay, there's a tiny little hole there. So there are some extra little flaws, but at, I guess with the hole and with that, maybe I'd list around 35, but those little bed jackets do really well for me. 
Oh, this top. Hey, I didn't even tell you about this. This top that I'm wearing has like little lemons on it. I bought it from a friend who actually watches my videos here on YouTube. Um, I think her name was Andrea and I will link her closet down below if you want to check it out. She's got a lot of cute stuff. I bought another shirt as well that I'll probably wear for another day when I film a video, but it's just so cute. And she has a very curated like vintage style closet. So go check it out. I'll link it down below. Okay. Got another robe here. This one is Gilead made in the USA. Definitely probably from the fifties or sixties. This is just me guessing, not positive. Anyway, it's a full length robe and it has this really pretty lace detail. It's like a fuchsia color. It's not even really showing up correctly on camera. And then it has a braided strap with this little end detailing full length robe. I'd probably list this around $30 and put it on my mannequin. So it looks really pretty when I model it or when my mannequin models it rather. And then I have this apron. Ben's buddy gave this to me as well. Isn't this so cute? It has all these little pockets on it and it looks kind of nineties to me, just like based on the print, maybe eighties. And yeah, it would just tie in the back little mini apron, probably list that around $20. And look at this one. Isn't this so cute? This one's like a little girl size apron. See how tiny it is? Well, I guess it could fit a woman. Yeah, but it's it's a little bit smaller. It's got a little pocket. Definitely looks handmade, as did the other one. Probably $15 on that, but I do like selling aprons. They're really easy to list. I just tie them around my mannequin's waist and they look super cute. Okay, this jacket I'm a little bit skeptical about, and I'll tell you why in a second. But first of all, isn't that amazing? It's like quilted beautifulness. Look at those the fun print. It's got a velvet trim with buttons. Um, it's just so, so cute. And I love the buttons. Um, but anyway, it says on the inside size 40, which I think is European sizing, but then it says hundred percent silk. But to me, the fabric doesn't feel like silk. It feels like, I don't know, maybe a polyester silky blend, but sometimes silk can feel like that. And especially if it's like been washed, sometimes silk doesn't feel as nice. I've definitely ruined a piece or two of silk, but anyway, I just thought it was so fun and could definitely be like layered with a pair of jeans and like a cool shirt underneath it. I'd probably list it around $35, $40 online. Another vintage dress. Cannot believe how many vintage dresses I found this past week. I just am amazed how many like great things you can find when you go to the bins every single day. Now this is probably early 2000s. This is not super vintage. It's just woman within size 16 women's. It, it might not even be vintage because this tag, I feel like is the same tag they're still making. The style just kind of looks vintagey. So it's a button front dress. It's um, fully button front, but it's like a covered button. And then it has tab sleeves and it's like this crinkly fabric. I think it's rayon, but I'm not sure. And does it have pockets? <gasps> it has side pockets too. So good but I love this floral print. Yeah, it's 100% rayon made in India, but look at that pretty floral. I just love this. Um, probably like maxi length. I'd probably list it around $35, $40 as well. Okay, this is a really cool grandpa sweater that I absolutely love. And this tag is just really neat. I don't know anything about this, but look at that tag. Definitely vintage, size large. It's made in Italy. I think it just says creations. And then I think it had a good fabric content. And that was another reason I picked it up. So let me see if I can find that. Yes, it's 50% wool, 50% acrylic made in Italy. So just a really fun printed sweater. Look at the design. Like how cool is that? So I'd probably list that around $35, $40 as well. Okay, this is a vest and it's 2X. It's by August Max Woman. It's like a Raimi cotton blend. That definitely looks like a vintage tag to me and it's just crochet and it's so precious and it's button front. Oh, I just love this so much. I feel like this is so cottage core, but it could also be boho and I would probably list this around $40 and see what happens. I really like that piece. Um, this is Kenneth two. It's a size medium and it's just a little nightgown. Um, kind of, gives me 90s vibes. It's got a little flower there. It's just this fabric is so soft. I would definitely sleep in something like this because it feels so nice. I probably list that around 20, 25 dollars online. Okay, this is so cute. This has some wash wear to it. Like there's some pilling to it, but look at how fun that is. That screams 80s to me. It's cropped. It looks so cute with a pair of high rise jeans and then the sleeve slightly cropped and it has like a 
is it a dolman style sleeve and then like the cuffed wrist but um yeah you can see the fabric definitely has some wash wear there but i would probably still list around 25 30 dollars because i think it's just such a fun print and there's absolutely no tags in it but it definitely looks vintage to me based on the seams and just the way it's sewn it looks older so super fun top there kind of gives me like stranger things vibes okay this is blair it's 100 percent cotton size small and definitely like a grandma core kind of skirt but it also has that um like cottage vibes because it's quilted and it has like a little spot right there but other than that super good condition i'd probably list it around 25 dollars and um yeah i just think it's so cute i'm into that quilted look can you tell okay i got two more vintage dresses i cannot believe found this at the bins with the belt like what in the world is happening <laughs> so this is a really cute vintage long sleeve dress it's like a fit and flare style and it is button front and there's covered buttons and it's papel boutique which is like adriana papel but make it vintage um yeah it's just really cute and it's oh it's button back so it's straight in the front and then button back and then look at this pretty like pleating at the waistline just love this i don't even know if there's a size in it i'd have to inspect it more but i'd say it looks like a six or an eight super cute dress i'd probably list that around like 30 or 40 take offers depending on the fabric content it definitely feels like a polyester but it could be a silk um another really cool one this one is hannah sung 100 polyester size 10 probably fits more like a modern day size eight would be my guess but i don't know so it's button front and I, I it's not buttoned right now but you can kind of see it long sleeve with button cuffs and then it has like a pleated waistline and it's probably like a midi length but it's just so pretty i love it look at that print too it's really pretty i'd probably list that around 30 to 40 dollars um this is really fun i feel like why is everything unbuttoned probably because i do that to inspect it at the bins and then it's like when i show you guys i want it to look nicer okay look at how stunning this is so there's the front look at the sleeves it's definitely that square neck style sleeves i feel like love shack fancy would make something like this modern day and then look at the back <laughs> isn't that so fun and it's like this really pretty taffeta type fabric and it's by waters and waters made in the usa and it is silk it's silk on the outer polyester cotton blend on the inside but there's what the tag looks like um, I think this is from the 80s based on the style of the sleeves, um, but it's just so pretty. I think this would look cute for like a special occasion and you could like really dress it up with like a pretty skirt. Oh, so fun. Okay, last thing from the bins and then I'll show you what my sister-in-law got me. This top has a little bit of stretching to it, but it was just too cute to pass up on. It's like Cottage Core Dreams top, you know, like with this little delicate lace collar, little button placket in the front. It's cropped and it's crochet and knit, but um, it is a little stretched out. You can tell like the knit has kind of started to give over time and there's absolutely no tags in it, but I feel like it is vintage. It definitely has that feel to it. And I'd probably list it on 30, $40. So precious. Okay. I'll show you what my sister-in-law got me and you guys are going to be shocked. She's very good at sourcing. I found such good, she found such good stuff. Okay. So this dress or this nighty is, is so precious. It has lace on the sleeves here, um, lace on the bust. And then it kind of has like this sheer layer with, um, a layer underneath. There are a few holes in it. Unfortunately, I think just from age right there, you can see but it's just so cute and the brand on this is just sears it's a size 36 made in the usa definitely definitely old probably from the 50s or 60s would be my guess but i haven't looked it up i probably list that around 25 30 dollars because of the flaw okay this is a vintage dress and it is missing buttons um for whatnot i'm not gonna fix it i'm just gonna sell it at a low cost so someone else can repair it but if I were to sell it on my own, I would probably fix it. It's missing like the top three buttons and the brand is Erica's place. It's hundred percent rayon size 24. So some plus size vintage, definitely worth putting the time into repairing and look at the style of this. Isn't that so cute? The sleeves. Oh, it's just so good. And I think this is the back where it kind of buttons like that, but I don't know. Yeah. That looks like the back because the tag is back there. Yes. It has shoulder pads. And it's like a midi length 
so pretty and it has pockets like could it get any better so size 24 it probably fits like a modern day like maybe like two sizes down maybe more like a 22 okay this is really cute but i'll admit the fabric is not super soft it feels like like very much like polyester it's jill andrea new york it's a size 1x it's 100 percent nylon it just doesn't have a very good feel to it in my opinion i don't know if you guys can see like the fabric and how it feels like can you hear that but um i'd probably list this around 20 dollars and then try my best to describe the way that the fabric feels but the print like is so cute this would look cute like worn as a kimono over top of like normal clothes i see people doing that a lot now and nowadays and i think that would look really cute all right, more cottage core for you. Look at this cute little sweater. Oh my goodness, I can't even. This is definitely something I would have picked up in a heartbeat. And Bethany, she knows me, my sister-in-law. Isn't that so cute? And that collar, oh my goodness. It's petite, sophisticate, size small. It's a ran or a Raimi cotton blend. So precious. And there's the back of it. And it has like a little keyhole back. I mean, it definitely has some like wear from age and like some little discolorations, but for something this precious, I feel like vintage collectors would be able to forgive those little tiny flaws. Okay, look at this. Oh my goodness. I think, I don't know, Bethany might have found better vintage than me. This, <laughs> this is just so cute. It's button front, um, so it can be buttoned or it can be worn unbuttoned, but look at that lace and the pearls and the beads, and it's a nylon acrylic blend and it's just so cute i i can't even <laughs> i'd probably list that around 40 dollars um it does have a little bit of pilling and, and wear from age but yeah 30 to 40 would be my guess um wow so this is star reflections moments by majorette look at that tag isn't that cool um and then here's the actual sweater can you just say like christmas grandpa vibes like <laughs> it's it's a really fun sweater um i'd probably list this around 35 dollars and take offers it's like an acrylic i feel like um this one is really cool too this is Am ambrosia 100 acrylic made in taiwan and it's kind of like one that is open and it only buttons down here so you could like wear it as a cardigan but it has four buttons that kind of button like like that and then those sleeves, oh, they're just so good. I, I just love this piece. I think it's so fun and I'd probably list around $35 would be my guess. This is Sarah Coventry. It's just 100% polyester, little scarf. I think that print is really pretty. Probably 15, 10, $15 on that. This one is even softer. Um, this one does not have a tag on it, but it feels like silky like, but I still think it's a polyester, but those vibrant colors are just so good probably start there on 10 or 15. Okay, this is fun. Um, <laughs> not really my style, but I feel like someone out there is going to love this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And then the collar. Like this is definitely someone's do-it-yourself job, probably in the 80s. It's just, wow, it is something. There's some like little discolorations on it, but this is definitely something super quirky that I would, I would love to sell. And I'd probably start this just because it's not perfect and i mean it has some wash wear to it probably around 25 30. okay we have a sweater and i don't know what the fabric content is let's find out it's just acrylic is that fabe f-a-b-e see how it says f-a-b-e <laughs> but this print is really really pretty it's like a snowflake print kind of um nordic looking in my opinion it definitely has a lot of pilling to it and I think I saw, oh no, those are like little particles on it that will come off. Yeah, it just has a lot of pilling and wash wear. I'd probably still start at around $30 and see what happens. Um, a little vest gives me total 80s vibes, but it might be older. It says Flame Made in America. It's 100% acetate in the back and then like a nylon blend in the front. But it's got like these sparkly leaves on it. And then in the back, it looks like that. I can just picture uh someone with like big 80s hair wearing this with a pair of jeans for like a night out dancing or something <laughs> okay next i have a top that is probably one of my favorite things in this haul um from my sister-in-law this is worthington size four so like not like an amazing brand but i think worthington was made a lot better than it is today but look at how pretty this is that collar it's like a satiny fabric totally cottage core grandma core you could 
even call this like Regency vibes. Maybe not because not the high waist, but like it just kind of has that Victorian vibe to it. And it's button back. So pretty. I couldn't find any flaws on it, but maybe I'll notice some when I'm steaming it. I'd probably start that around $30 to $40 just because it's so on trend right now. And so is this piece. This is totally cottage core as well. Look at that pin tuck pleating, that lace detailing, the little mock neck. It has like a, this has a name and I can't remember what it is right now, but it has like this really cool pleating here, button cuffs. If anyone remembers the name of this style of sleeve, let me know. It has a really funny name. Um, but the brand is you babes and I feel like I've sold this before this might have been from like the 60s or 70s um, And it's buttoned back So just super precious and delicate. I'd probably start there on 40 or 50 um, Just because the style is so good. It has some yellowing from age, but like no discolorations like stains All right, we're getting towards the end of this bag. Maybe halfway through. Oh, uh, this is a really cute apron it's a sheer apron with like the, you see how it's like interwoven through the tie strap? I think that's so pretty. Isn't that neat? And then it has like this really pretty floral detailing on that. So sweet. Probably $15, $20 on that, depending on the age. Now this is probably like early 2000s Y2K vintage because it's fashion bug. Pretty sure that's not open anymore. It's a size 2X. And it has like built-in cups. Okay, so it's like a bra top and it's velvet velour coloring and these sleeve these straps are like really adjusted, but you could definitely take that back to kind of give it your perfect fit. But yeah, it's like a built in underwire bra in a fashion bug top. So we just moved from like the 50s, 60s era to like early 2000s. <laughs> okay, another nightgown. This is Vanity Fair size large made in the USA. And it is just precious. Once again, more lace, covered buttons all the way up the front. It has a side pocket, which is currently out. This will look so much prettier when it's steamed too. But I normally list these around $25 and then take offers. Usually what happens with those is people will come along and bundle them with other nightgowns and then I'll sell like a whole nightgown bundle. Um, this is Christine and Jill, size six petite. And this is just like a basic career style blouse with like this pleating in the front. Um, cuffs. Oh, and I just noticed there are stains on the arm. I don't know if I would list this one actually with all of that staining. That's a lot of staining. So I am going to try to stain treat this one. I'm going to throw it in my laundry pile and if it comes out, I'll list it. If not, I'll probably end up donating that. Okay, this is so cute. Look at this tapestry type fabric with this really pretty floral botanical detailing. This kind of is like cottage core, nature core, grandma core, fairy core. You can put a lot of cores in with this one, but it's so cute. There's the back. Um, I just love this. Oh, it has a hummingbird on it. What? Look at the hummingbird. So cute. I probably list this around 35 to $40. This is a scarf and it's sheer. It's very delicate and pretty wonder if there's a brand on it. It just says 100% rayon and the brand is Ideas, made in India. Ideas. Okay, this one is Lady Carol of New York, size 12. I'll show you the brand so you all can see lots of vintage tags. I have people ask me how I identify vintage and I think you just need to see it more and more often. The more you see vintage tags, the more you learn to recognize them. You might not be able to place it in the exact era, but you can probably tell like, this is at least 20 years old based on that tag. You know, if it's screen printed on the back of the shirt, it's not vintage. <laughs> All right, this has um, shoulder pads. I'm guessing this is from the 80s. It's got a drop waist. Um, does it have pockets though? It does not have pockets, but it's a super soft dress. Um, button front, like a shirt waist style. And yeah, just really, really cute with that paisley floral print. I'd probably list it around $40 and take offers. Okay, this is definitely grandma core for you. Um, it's just Napa Valley, Valley Petites. I'd say this is from the 90s. Um, floral detailing skirt. But wait, there's a matching top. <laughs> what? <laughs> With the same floral embroidery on it. And it's button front, short sleeve. Um, I think these would be really cute worn as separates. Like, I don't think I would wear these together. But, like, worn separately, I think it could be really, really cute. Like that top worn with, like, a pair of high-rise high -rise pants. And then the bottoms worn with like a top tucked in. I think it could be really cute. 
Um, this is J. Peters made in the USA, 100% rayon skirt. Another vintage tag for you. And it's button front. And what I like about the button front ones is you can kind of like make your own slit in the front if you want to unbutton it a little bit more or just wear it like as is. But this is just a really cute style. Gosh, do I want to keep this? <laughs> it says size 12, but it looks like it would fit more like a size four to six. Um, really pretty black skirt. Probably around $35 on that is what I would start it at. And then there's this last piece and it's um, Passports Women size 1X like wrap beach skirt and it's dead stock it has its original tag on it and i'd probably start this around ten dollars even though the price originally was ten dollars wow did i say ten dollars twenty five dollars even though the original price was only 16.99 um inflation <laughs> would make that more like 25 30 dollars today um so it's like got a tie waist here's the tag passports women i'm assuming this is 80s or 90s because it does have a barcode so it's not any older than that but that is the haul from all of my vintage finds over five days going to the Goodwill outlet. Stay tuned if you want to see the next four days of hauls. I'm going to be posting these every day in a row, followed by whatnot shows. Um, the whatnot shows will be in the afternoon morning time. If that doesn't work for you, you can place pre-bids on stuff and you could still win items even if you're not in the show. If you want to get a really good like Goodwill prices on these items, but if not, that's okay. I'm not offended. <laughs> I will list them in my Poshmark closet if they don't sell and whatnot, but I just want to give you guys Guys an opportunity to buy those. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. About like 50% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed and I would love to hit the 3000 subscriber mark by the end of the series. It's kind of a little goal of mine. So it would make my day if you subscribed. Turn that bell notification so you know when I post a new video. And down below, I'll have all the links to all my whatnot shows. And now I'm gonna go prep all these items for the show. So it's gonna be some work. I'll see you later. Bye, thanks for watching.